Welcome to the channel. My name's Andrew and you're watching Red Blue Labs. In this video, I'm going to be comparing a Sans cert with a CompTIA cert. I actually feel pretty equipped to compare these two because in the past couple months, I've actually obtained the Pentest Plus and I've also gotten the uh, web application penetration testing by Sans. They're both really good. What I'd like to do is a side-by-side -side sort of comparison of my thoughts on these two certs. And then with that information, you could have a good idea of like, where do you want to progress? What areas do you want to pursue in your, your, your dream of penetration testing? Let's dive into our first cert that I obtained recently. It is the Pentest Plus cert. I generally enjoy the CompTIA study material. I feel like it's it's reasonably good. Previously, before this, done Security Plus, and that one was, was an okay one. I honestly think that if you're going to be pursuing certs, I think that doing CompTIA is a really good way to start and get your feet wet in the, in the world of cybersecurity. Gives a pretty general uh, look at cybersecurity, gives a, a general touch into the different areas. If I were to compare Pen Test Plus with Security Plus, Security Plus is very general across the board, touches all the areas, and then Pen Test Plus dives deeper into the specific areas of penetration testing. Talks a bit about the methodology of, of a penetration testing. Pen Test Plus falls short is that I believe that for our industry it's it's good in that it it shows an interest in the field, it shows an interest in the topic of penetration testing. But I believe that if you were to have the Pen Test Plus cert and that was all you had and you didn't have any experience or CTF stuff uh, behind the scenes, the Pen Test Plus isn't enough really to work full time as a penetration tester. It could help you get in an interview and say, hey, look at this, I've, I've achieved this particular certification. What do you think? I'd like to grow my skills. It was so general that I would say that it's, it's just not enough to be a full-fledged penetration tester yet, but it's a really good stepping stone into that direction. And you're probably gonna wanna pursue more certs. In general, I really, I think that CompTIA is okay. I think it's a good starting point. I recommend it for everybody that wants to start testing the waters with cybersecurity. That brings us to SANS, the GIAC. Now, the web application penetration test, which I, I completed maybe th three-ish weeks ago, that one was a lot different than the penetration test or pen test plus. I really liked it. Uh, the biggest difference between the, the SANS stuff and the CompTIA stuff, it's, it's this. Uh, they ship so much material. <laughs> to you for studying. This is, is phenomenal. I, I love having this as a resource. It's, it's beefy. And if I were to compare, I think total pages for the SANS stuff, I don't know, uh, around 1400 pages of, of material. If I compare that to the Pen Test Plus, uh, it was about 400 pages. And I didn't get a physical copy with Pentest Plus. I got a, a digital book that expires after a certain period of time, which that annoys, <laughs> that frustrates me actually, that I don't have this book forever, even though I, I paid for the material. But I'm gonna have these books forever. I'm going to have them as a resource to go, go and look on. I really think with the material and the content that I got from that, that Sans stuff, is that I actually could go and do a contract as a web penetration tester. I mean, it's at the beginning, you're gonna learn a lot of things that are not, not in there. Like even, even going through it, it's, it's sort of scratching the surface on, on different things. There's so much inside of web application penetration testing that that book could be absolutely massive, but it does do a really good job on getting you an idea of like, what does this mean? What is authentication? What are the different ways that we could do testing? What are some methodologies around this, 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 and this? It sets you up for success, which I really, really think is a good thing. And SANS outshines CompTIA 
in their content. Here's a really good example. So within, within web testing and within vulnerability assessments, we do a lot of scanning. We do a lot of Nmap scanning. Now I'm not gonna show on the screen right now the, the particular pages in CompTIA because I don't think it would be ethical for me to, to show you that, but I can describe it. It's a vital tool uh, in the security space. I, I really love it. I encourage everybody to learn about it. But in the CompTIA content, there was, of the 400 pages, there was a, it was maybe a couple slides on Nmap. And it was like, this is what Nmap does. Did you know that it can scan? And then it was over. <laughs> and I was like, oh my goodness. It's a good thing I already know about Nmap. But then when I got to this certification for Pentest Plus, there was a bunch of questions on Nmap. And the content in that, that digital book didn't even get close to what the test was. Okay, I found that quite frustrating. There was, a, there was a number of questions inside that pen test plus test that were briefly mentioned in, in, the, in the training material, but the training material did not go into crazy depth on it. And so that was a shock. And when I was doing the test, I was, I was thinking to myself, well, it's a good thing that I have some previous experience in this stuff because that really helped out. <laughs> And that, I can see that as, a, as a, deter, a deterrent for this particular cert. And I don't know if it's on purpose. There's a part of me that wonders if it is. I really want to believe that it's not on purpose, but making training material not as in depth as what the test actually does, I don't think is super fair to the people that want to get that cert. If you need to have additional uh, experience on top of the training material, then maybe the material isn't strong enough to to justify it. But that's an opinion. Okay, if I were to look at the the sans stuff, everything that was in the test was found within that the the books. So if you read the books <laughs> and you did the labs, then you're gonna do you're gonna do just fine on the test. And the nice thing about their tests is that you actually can bring all those books in. Now, I I personally have a methodology, and I'm gonna do another video on this, where I, I take a, a coil book, and then I take all of the material that I'm studying, and I condense it into a smaller, a smaller more condensed version. And then from there, I use that as sort of like a, uh, uh, whatever, a, a way to, focus my studying and if there's an area that I need more information on us I document what page it's on and I jump to that area in the book that's just my my technique of studying works for me doesn't have to work for everybody I basically just sat here at the test with my book open and as the question came along I either remembered it right away or I was able to go okay that's the part that's about SQL okay <laughs> flip to the SQL section quickly review my condensed notes and either answer the question or be like, oh shoot, <laughs> I need more information. I'm gonna go to the book, which I've also documented in here. Uh, with Pentest Plus, you can't bring any material into it, um, which is which is good and bad. Really, it, it's testing your testing your knowledge. I want to make one comment. A huge difference between the Sans and the CompTIA stuff, though, is the cost. Now, I was I've been very blessed in that the place that I work actually paid for me to go and do these certs. CompTIA, I believe, was around $700 Canadian. I also paid for the the redo test, and it, and it paid for the study on your own pace. That was really good. I like that. I don't think I would ever go to a service that trains on a CompTIA cert. So like, I'm not gonna go to some random place and be like, please teach me about CompTIA. No. <laughs> I had an option to do the in-person or online Zoom training for the for the GIAC, that the web application for the SANS. I actually chose not to do that either. I only did the study at your own pace. I'm actually really glad that I did that too, because the training was about seven seven days, five days around there, eight, nine hours a day. And honestly the amount of material to cover 
would have left me at the end of that week just sort of just absolutely drained and, and weak. <laughs> and I don't think I could have retained information. I was able to <clears throat> consume those books at my own pace and with my own learning style. I'm not an auditory learner. I am a visual and sort of kinetic learner. I need to get my hands on the thing that I'm trying to learn and work at it. If somebody's talking at me, this is not going to, I'm not going to retain it. <laughs> and I know that about myself. So I set myself up for success. Pen test plus $700. Sans, that one's super expensive. And it was like, I think like 8,000 uh, USD. And so in, can in Canadian, that's a lot more. So thankfully my work paid for that. So I I'm blessed for that. But here's the, here's the thing. While I'm super glad that I got the sand one, if me myself wasn't working for a place that was going to pay for my cert, I don't know if I would pursue it. It's, it's so expensive for a, for a single test. There's so much riding on that, that three hour test that it's, it's, so much pressure and that's it's more expensive than some college courses which teach the same content so i mean the content is is pretty rich and it's clearly i got what i paid for <laughs> it it was a lot better than the comptia stuff but it's 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 something that something to chew on honestly if you're, if you're wanting to do that would i pay extra to go to a online course that teaches the sand stuff? No. Uh, the GWAPT also has uh, a lab. And the lab, the Pentest Plus, no lab. This one here does have a lab. And it was actually really good. <laughs> they had a whole individual virtualized machine that had a bunch of preloaded uh, web hacks that you should practice that all joined up with the, with the material. And it was all... It, all of the entire lab worked perfectly. There was no, no issues. And I would, I would love to be able to bring what they did there into my actual college classes that I teach. It would be wonderful to be able to just give out a machine and be like, this thing is going to work. Practice all of this, 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 this on that machine. As a summary, Pentus Plus, good. The Sans one, great. I encourage people to pursue both. Um, Pentest Plus would be a really good way to uh, get involved in the in the beginning of things. At what do you even like cybersecurity? And if you do, great, keep pursuing it. And if you know you like cybersecurity, then paying a little bit extra for that SANS cert is not such a crazy idea because it's going to be a boon for you when you're going for job interviews. And even in your regular job, like I've been able to take the content from the sand stuff and actually bring it into some of the courses that I'm teaching at, at work. And I think it's just going to be a blessing to everybody. <laughs> and it's nice for me to be able to practice that, that skill as well. Thank you so much for watching the video. I look forward to some more videos. We've just recently crossed 13,000 subs, which is, which is great. I feel honored. Thank you so much. And if you like this video, go ahead and subscribe. And we will talk to you soon. See ya.